We're gonna document right. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, That Chocolate Vegan with me, Erin Wells, and you read that title correctly. This is part one of my raw vegan journey. Let's get started. First and foremost, Happy New Year, guys. Today is January 1st, 2020, and as promised, I am going raw for the next 14 days. I just got back from the grocery store. Okay, y'all, it is Erin <laughs> Goes Raw day one, and I ain't got no groceries, so I'm outside of the cab farmer's market right now, about to load up on some stuff. I had a whole list written now, because I did plan my meals, but I didn't bring it, nor did I take a picture. So, I'm kind of sort of winging it. I know what's on there a little bit, but yeah, let's, let's go grocery shopping. Now, because of all the nuts, um, and I got some sour sop that was like $5 each, I'll do a really, really quick Grocery haul for you guys. Got some apples, grapes, expensive nuts, uh, pecans, walnuts, and cashews. Got some organic red raisins that taste very different from the ones that are usually in stores. I was like, hmm. Kale and cilantro, cucumbers, sour sop that still cost me like seven bucks for this small thing, avocados, and some carrots. Now, of course, I already have some stuff here, so I know y'all like, what, I don't see a complete meal. Some stuff is already here, so it doesn't necessarily matter. These are accessories. I think later on I'm gonna make some raw tacos. So I already have some, I got some walnuts and some cashews over there soaking, so I can make uh, cheese and cilantro creme for my tacos. Right now, I've already eaten, cause I was hungry. I didn't go to the grocery store till one. So on the way back home, I was snacking on pecans and uh, raisins together. That's all I've had so far today. And right now, I think I'm going to, I don't know what I'm about to make. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do my measurements because I do not plan on stepping on a scale, but I do want to see if inches come off. So let me back this camera up so y'all can see the full body. So I got this little string. I, this is usually what you use waist beads for, guys. Ah, uh, this is the I before. You gotta slim this all up. So I'm just gonna loosely, I'm not gonna pull it. because we're gonna pretend this is a waist bead. Let's see, where do I wanna put this? Okay, so we're roughly like right there. I don't know if y'all can see a little green mark I just did. Day one, we're right there, okay? Woo! So the first meal I made was my raw kale salad. I have a full video on this already, guys, but I'm just throwing in some sun-dried tomatoes, onions, cucumbers, regular tomato, smokehouse maple seasoning, oil, and I'm gonna put this on a seaweed wrap instead of a regular wrap with some vegan mayo, and that's it. I'm gonna do a horrible job of folding it, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna eat it. Okay, y'all saw that wrap was a, a, a fail. I've wrapped before, I don't know, this is, this is the same brand I've been using. It just ain't wrapping today, but I'm still gonna tear it up off camera, obviously, but just know I'm really gonna eat this. Maybe if I rip it in half. I mean, it's messy, but it's all gonna go down the same way. Oh my God, about to, let me eat. This is so good. Now, if you don't like seaweed or sushi, don't do it. Mm. You have to eat it just as a salad. All right, well this is my breakfast lunch. It's three o'clock. This is my breakfast, late lunch. We'll be back for the next meal, y'all. So my final meal was my raw tacos. Um, now I'm making walnut meat with those walnuts I soaked earlier. A day was not enough to soak walnuts, y'all, but uh, I mean, I'm hungry, so a little crunchy is not gonna stop the show. Recipe is on the screen. Just I just freehanded the seasonings and blended it all up into my blender. Um, I already have a video on my cashew cheese, but here is my bootleg cilantro creme. This is not how you make it, so I don't really wanna give you guys the recipe because it's missing avocado and lime. Um, but loosely it's cashew, cilantro, water, garlic, salt, pepper. But yeah, I don't, I really don't wanna give you that recipe because it's, it's not right. <laughs> Here I am assembling the tacos. Again, cashew cheese is already on my channel. Look up chili cheese fries. And I'm just adding the cilantro creme, walnut meat, jalapeno, tomato, and it was so good. Good morning, y'all. It is January 2nd, 2020, day two of my raw vegan challenge. It is 10 o'clock in the morning, and I'm about to head out to go babysit. So I need to plan something to pack. It's probably gonna be the same thing for yesterday, though. Like, I know I'm gonna make some trail mix for breakfast. And I'll just be right back. Let me go pack up some stuff real quick because I'm gonna be late and that ain't good to be late. Okay, 
uh, nothing too, my makeup looks horrible, by the way, and I want to acknowledge the fact that I know that. Like, why does it look so bad? So I did the same thing as yesterday, my pecans and uh, raisins for a snack slash breakfast. And another snack is going to be cucumbers. And I heard cucumbers and sasson taste good. Have y'all tried this? I love this seasoning. It's not good for you at all. <laughs> Which is, I mean, I think it's raw. But it's a, it's a lot of chemicals. This might be a cheat. But I'm going to try cucumbers and sasson, like sprinkled on top. I heard it was really good. So I'll let you guys know when I have it. The house I'm going to, they have plenty of fruits and vegetables if I get hungry besides that. I'll be back in like three hours, three, four hours. So it's not like I'm going all day. Yeah, that's what I'm going to have right now. And then I'll check in with you guys later. Okay, guys. I'm off work. It is 4.06. Um, I ate all my trail mix. Um, I had a banana at their house and some apples and peanut butter. I did not eat my cucumber because I wanted to be cold. I was like a hot cucumber with seasoning. It's going to be nasty. Um, as y'all can see, it's raining. I want some hot soup. I ain't going to lie. And my energy level is bleh. Like, it could be because it's raining. It could be because I haven't had any coffee. But my energy level is on zero. Like, I just want to go home, eat some non-existent hot soup. And just sit there on the couch. I'm not exactly sleepy, but I don't want to do nothing. You know? <sighs> Check in later. Okay, y'all. I am back home. About to make some more of the raw tacos from yesterday. This is, what time is it? It's 4.30, so I don't know if this is late lunch because I've just been snacking, like I told you guys before. Um, yeah. I, oh, yeah. I ain't had no meal yet. It's the first actual meal. So, yeah. Let's make our tacos from yesterday. Okay, they look a little different, obviously. Um, there's no tomatoes. I think with my last tomato I got, I think I'm gonna try to make guacamole because I believe, I'm looking at my avocados that y'all can't see right now. They weren't ripe yesterday. But let's see if they ripe today because I really want some, oh, some guac would set this off. Good news and bad news. It is ripe, it's ready to be eaten, but I don't have no lime. So we're just gonna put avocado on my taco without guacamole. So, okay guys, here we are. Just added the tomato, jalapeno, and the gua, I mean, well, the avocado. Now, I cannot pick this up cute on camera. I ain't gonna lie. That's why I didn't do it yesterday. That and me looking a hot mess. But you just, I just can't eat this cute. I'm just gonna tear it. But you need to make it cute. FYI, make all your food cute so that you want to eat it. That's gonna help on this vegan journey. I mean, this raw vegan journey. Vegan, too. ooh, I just licked something. Oh my God. Okay, y'all, it is 7.28 p.m. I don't know why I look this tired. I'm not. I'm actually feeling a little bit better because I took, um, like, some little energy packet. I'm going to show y'all. Okay, Amazing Grace Green Superfood Energy. Uh, look at the bag. You can Google it. It's too many ingredients to show you guys. But, I mean, the first ingredient is grass. Like, you can't get more vegan in this product when the first thing is organic wheat grass. But it does say gluten-free, no sugar added, plant-based, non-GMO. Don't know if I cheated, but I feel much better than these how does it taste disgusting it does say you can put it in juice or a smoothie um but i just chose water because i didn't want either one of those but taste not great i feel better i feel like i had not a coffee but i just feel leveled out no longer like this i'm just leveled out anyway another rambling this was obviously not sponsored because it's nasty but it works I went ahead and made my cucumbers and sasson that I told you guys I wanted with my cold cucumbers. Look at that plate in. It's cute, but let's see how it tastes. Um, I do love sasson. Mm. I don't love it or hate it. Let me get it, huh? I can say it's a snack. It's salty because sasson, again, is not a healthy salt. It's full of chemicals. That might be cheating as well with the raw thing. Mm. Um, but I give it a... Five out of ten. Because I don't want y'all to make this and be like, oh, girl, no. It's okay. Okay. I'm actually not even hungry. I just really want to try this out. But if I eat something else, I'll let y'all know. Good afternoon, guys. It is 12.23 p.m., day three of my raw vegan journey. Why so late? It's because I've just been ripping and running all morning. I got up this morning, and I had to go to the grocery store to prepare for my vegan fish fry Friday. That I do an eggplant. I have a whole video on that already. Um, but we're raw right now. But that was a little, it's a little miserable having to cook for people, and you can't eat it. And I'm actually a little nervous that I can't taste my food for the first time. But I've done this for about two months now, so I'm pretty confident that I know how to season the same recipe like the kale the mac 
um, and the fish. Also this morning, all I've had today since about, what, 10 o'clock this morning was some grapes. And I am satisfied and it's weird because I'm like, why am I not hungry yet? <laughs> uh, but I'm satisfied. I ate a lot of grapes because TMI, put down your wheatgrass, I've been dropping the kids off at the pool twice already. And I'm like, okay, chill out. I'll check in with you guys later. Um, I did make chia seed pudding earlier this morning but I haven't eaten it yet because I'm not hungry. Neither do I have a craving, so I don't want to eat just because I made it. Look at me, growing up. Okay. <laughs> All right guys, it is 1 p.m. Not that much later, but I'm finally hungry. So I got our chia seed pudding out of the fridge. I don't want you guys to really see this. This is my first time. So this ain't here for like, what, two hours? It's supposed to only take, oh yeah, it's thick, thick. All right, so now we need to add some toppings in here. Not gonna lie, I was super sad that my favorite peanut butter is roasted peanuts. Um, I love this natural crunchy peanut butter from Kroger, but it's roasted peanuts and salt, so therefore that's cooked and it's not raw. Who is texting me? Let me hurry up, because I got orders coming in. Okay, so let's put some walnuts in here, some pecans, some chocolate. I'm gonna mix that in. I'm gonna mix all this up, obviously. Oh, that messed it up. I should put the chocolate in first. Oh. And some raw agave. Okay. Oh, that looks disgusting. Oh my God, that looks so bad. Oh my God. It might be good, y'all. Stop judging her. She might be good. She needs something. Maybe some salt. Hold on. Maybe a little salt. Oh, 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 whoa. <clears throat> Okay, this is about to be some salty mess now. Okay. Yeah. Let's add some raisins. We're gonna make this work. It's not, it's not terrible, but you wouldn't get it to anybody else. Know that, okay? Let's get a handful of raisins. FYI, I don't eat raisins, but these little organic real raisins are good. All right. Now I know what y'all thinking, Aaron, why don't you put some strawberries, some berries, some, uh, you know, blackberries, some just, ooh, a fruit, pineapple. I don't have it. And I said I'm not spending any more money until tomorrow, which is Saturday. That's my next grocery store run. I said I'm gonna eat all this stuff that I got first. I'm not going back to the store. This is what I had at home. This was going to chia seed pudding. But I do think I'll make this again, because it's a good idea, easy. Definitely, uh, fresh fruit on top of here, uh, bomb.com. Okay guys, checking back in. Um, I've been cooking plates all day. I have not tasted anything. I did tell my customers to please tell me if something tastes different because I honestly didn't taste anything. Uh, I'm about to go to the store. I have a catering gig tomorrow that I have to go again cook for. My friend will be with me to taste everything though, don't worry. Um, I'm not hungry. I don't know why y'all, I'm concerned too. I know, I'm not hungry. The chia seed pudding was a lot of healthy fat, so maybe that is what's to blame or to congratulate. I'm gonna go ahead and eat the rest of my raw kale salad. I'm gonna wrap it up in some more seaweed. So of course I'm not eating this because I'm hungry, but I am going to the store and I don't wanna get hungry and then be like, oh my God, I want everything. So just to squash any cravings, I'm gonna go ahead and eat the rest of this, which I know will fill me up because I'm gonna put mayonnaise on it, baby. And uh, yeah, so I'll check in with you guys later. It is 7.48 p.m. I know y'all like, wait a minute, what happened? Did we skip a meal? No, what happened was, when I said I was gonna leave the first time, I did not because I had a customer say they were gonna come an hour late. So it delayed me going to the grocery store, blah, blah, blah. I'm home, I already made dinner, I'm having an egg salad. It was supposed to be a tuna salad, but I forgot to put in the seaweed, so it's gonna be egg salad. Now you've seen me make a chickpea tuna salad on my channel before, so it was the same thing, except minus the um, seaweed, so that's why I call it egg salad, because it don't taste anything like tuna without that. And oh, also, also no obey. Yeah, so it's just an egg salad. Completed egg salad. I'm gonna dive in with my homemade mayo. It smell like egg. I already tasted it, so I know it's seasoned well. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. If I had to compare it to anything, especially with this smoked paprika on top, it tastes like devil egg on a salad, honey. Mmm. 
Next thing I have to do, I have one more client coming over for fish fry. I'm going to give her the rest of my stuff. She don't know it. Surprise, girl, if you're watching this, you get the rest of the mac and cheese, the rest of the kale, because I can't eat it. Then I'm going to start prepping for my client tomorrow, which you guys, of course, will see in another video because I'm only doing day one through three. So you will see that in day four on my next release. For dessert, I think I'm going to have soursop if it's ready. If it's ready. Um, I don't know if it's ripe yet. If it's not ripe, I might just do apples and peanut butter. And I know I told you guys I was not going to do peanut butter, but that's going to be my one little cheat. I love, I just, I... <sighs> I don't think I can give up peanut butter for, for two weeks. So, but I, I'll come back and let you guys know. Let me um, eat my dinner. Mm. So here I am about to start washing dishes because my kitchen looks an entire mess, as you guys know, after I cook for you all. Um, and I wanted my soursop. And I think this thing is spoiled just like avocado. It was just hard yesterday. Yesterday it was hard. Today is soft and mushy. I think it's spoiled and I am highly upset. I mean, hot, this don't look edible, it's mushy. Oh, I'm so pissed. You know how much it's cost? I told y'all how much it's cost me. I need to eat the mush. I need to eat the mush. I mean, all of it? Let's see how bad it is. Hold on. For those of y'all who never had sour sauce, it's delicious. It's not supposed to be this texture. Ugh. It's mushy, but it's good. I, I love the flavor. I can't describe. Kind of tastes like um, juicy fruit. I mean, it, it's an exotic fruit, so I can't compare it to anything like apples and oranges, you know what I mean, or pineapple. I'm gonna eat it because it was $7. That's the end of day three. So I guess I'll close out. Should I go back to my usual? Y'all want me to go back to my usual spot? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so that is the end of day three of my raw vegan journey. I'll see you guys in day four. Um, as far as a wrap up of how I feel, I mean, I feel good. I have no cravings for anything processed or, or mock meat. Uh, I do want something hot. That has not gone away. It's only been three days, but I have absolutely no desire for anything that's not of health and wellness. So that's a good thing. Um, no, I definitely don't think I lost weight in three days. I, I mean... I feel the same. Uh, sleep is so far the same. I still, but that's my fault. I still scroll Instagram and YouTube till one o'clock in the morning. That's me. As always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys in day four. Peace.